we are taking the last two of our Ragged Tooth Sharks out of our Iron J Predator exhibit. It's happening because we will be closing this exhibit for uh, renovations and we are releasing the sharks um, for, for that reason. So both of these sharks were caught in 2005. They haven't become lazy and fat in the tank. Just because we were feeding them hasn't stopped them from having that instinct to hunt. Ragged sharks are migratory, so every year they migrate around the east coast of South Africa and we will be driving up to East London to actually release them there. The process starts with the divers going into the exhibit. We lower a holding tank into the Iron Jay Predator exhibit and then while the divers are in the exhibit they guide the shark into a see-through PVC cone. Once the shark is in that cone, the cone gets closed and the shark is moved into the holding tank. The shark has a very uh, sensitive nose area and the diver that is in charge of guiding the shark into the cone actually does just that, guide the shark with the sticks to swim towards the cone and then they kind of maneuver them into the cone. From there she's moved into a holding tank on the back of our, our big truck, our flat big truck. That tank is 6,000 litres of water and it also has life support systems that keep the water quality at an optimum. In East London, it's a manual release. And from here, we will be closing this exhibit in mid-June when we open our ocean exhibit, which is a new exhibit, brand new, 1.7 million litres of water, beautiful exhibit. The Predator exhibit, as it currently stands, will close down for renovation. Once it opens up again, it will open up with sharks again for us. The sharks being released, the ambassadors to their, to their species, and we hope that people will realize that sharks need protection.